so hello guys and in this video you will learn how to make hysteresis curve much like this curve uh, in origin pro software uh, the software that I have opened right now and the hysteresis curve that I have formed uh, is in Microsoft Excel but uh, if you want to uh, make this curve much like this uh, in the software of origin pro uh, all you have to do is just follow the steps that I will do right now so first of all open the origin software the version that you have any version that can work so once this opens you will be greeted with this book one window I will just give it a full screen then I will come back to Excel and take the actual uh, data that I have right here so I will just copy all this data that I have and just right click and copy so when I copy this afterwards I will just come to the origin pro and press control V or just paste so all the data that I had there is now pasted here so I will now just copy the labels these are the labels that I was using so I will just copy these two so control paste so these are all the labels that I have copied now I know that this axis is the load and this axis is the displacement uh, if you if I go back to the axle and see the hysteresis curve this is just not a single curve these, there are many curves if I can just right click this I can show you that these are, there are a lot of series in this in these curves uh, I have to okay this first make a correction a minor correction here I think it is wrong way. so yes now this is corrected okay so uh, if you observe the data so every data set is represented there in the history curve with these color codes which are shown right here uh, which means one of them is the x-axis other is the y-axis then again the x-axis y-axis x-axis y-axis so this continues for all these uh, lines or all these series so uh, this can be done quite easily in the origin pro software all you have to do is uh, just keep on selecting the axis so uh, if you look at the top and uh, this is x y then all of them are uh, subsequently y y y uh, but uh, if I can somehow change them to x then I will have different series for every uh, change in uh, line or a change in the uh, load interval so all these values can now be uh, should now be changed so what I can do now is first is x and is y so I will just right click I will just select it from the top right here and right click and set as x axis then in here and set as x axis here again x axis here again x axis and similarly to all the series are separately marked x and y So this is the only harder step in all of the data arrangement afterwards it's just an easy setup and the data actually sets itself up in this software which is much easier than Excel at that point so now as I have all the data marked as X and Y so I'll just zoom it out okay the units here 
uh, I know the load is in kilonewtons and displacement is in millimeters so with all of this setup I will just select this data from above and press right click plot line line and just like that I have the hysteresis curve much like the Excel version which was here the only problem is the change in axis my axis are different because in Excel the displacement is down there and the load is up there so how to change that well it's even easier than Excel I will just come to I will just select this and then come to this command which shows exchange axis press it and here you go the data is now much like this uh, Excel hysteresis curve uh, if I want to uh, you know uh, center the curve so the origin doesn't provide any specific option for that but all you can do is do it manually by just selecting this part right here and move it over the zero part and if you want to make more accurate ones just make sure it falls right in this center then I select this second part and move it up to this zero so now the axis are set in the middle just like the Excel version okay just first I will just remove this I will just move it to the side so now the numbers the load and the displacement can be moved to one side and if I feel that my graphs are a bit too uh, spread out I can evenly just like this reduce the width so now it more closely matches the data in Excel now in this software you can easily make some other changes for example uh, you can change the uh, colors of these lines and the uh, type of lines and even the thickness of these lines so but that will just be a topic for a separate video uh, this video was just concerned with the hysteresis curve and how to make it in Excel uh, how to make it in the origin pro so that's it guys and uh, please subscribe to this channel for more engineering related videos thank you